Saturday I go back to school on Monday and I have no school supplies no school clothes nothing. so before we go shopping I'm gonna make a list of everything that I need right now I'm not too worried about getting like everything everything because usually on the first week of school the teachers will end up telling you what you actually need to bring and I'm also gonna go through this drawer here this is basically where I keep all of my school supplies whether it's old stuff that I already used or it was just extra leftovers that I never ended up needing the first thing that I know I need is a planner I used to always be that person who would buy planners and never use them but these past two years they were extremely helpful you guys know how much I love writing stuff down this is the planner that I used last year the year before that I just had a regular five-star plain one and I really liked it but for some reason I changed the layout so I had to get this one basically when I what I want in a planner is it has to be this small I don't really like super big planners because this is what I'm gonna take with me to school and then also the layout is really important like I like how this one has the whole monthly spread and then it goes into each day and I can write all my tasks so that is the very most important thing so that is our first thing we need a planner this is what i used instead of a backpack last year i don't know why but backpacks are just really awkward to me i just i feel so weird wearing a backpack i don't know why i don't know if i want to get a new backpack or if i just want to use this because i think we have to bring our chromebooks and i don't really want to just like have it out i'll probably just like use this for a bit but if i see a backpack that i like then i may get one but i think i have a backpack it's just super dirty but we're gonna go through this i have not opened this since my freshman year of school this is my talent show ticket i remember my friend and i we bought tickets to go to the talent show and that was like right before school closed down i wish we could have gotten a refund i know it's only five dollars but like we bought tickets and then we never ended up going now i'm just gonna throw away some of this stuff so i'm pretty sure this is my english folder i really like five star folders but this is really bent up okay, so now let's get into these supplies over here <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna throw everything out that I kind of got rid of and then we can make the list of stuff that I still need. <laughs> So I figured this would be easier if I just look at my schedule so I can know all of my classes. I can also tell you guys what classes I'm taking this year. Um, I don't think I explained this in the beginning of the video, but I'm going to be a junior, so 11th grade. I know that I have some subscribers who aren't from America, but that's basically the year before senior year, before you graduate and you're finished with high school. And it's usually the hardest year, or that's what I've heard from everyone, that it's the hardest. And comment down below what grade you guys are all going into, and if you would be interested in like a freshman advice video i don't know if i would do that yet because i low-key still feel like a freshman like i'm not even gonna lie sometimes i still feel like an eighth grader because i didn't even finish my freshman year and now i'm supposed to be like an upperclassman and know everything first semester i'm taking algebra 3 with trig economics and personal finance which is a class that you have to take in order to graduate ap environmental science sports medicine i did not know i was taking that sports medicine and then a push ap united states history and then ap lang and then for second semester my first two blocks change i have sports and entertainment and recreational marketing and then technical theater and those are both electives and then everything else stays the same so i still am taking my science class sports medicine a push and ap lang i'm really confused about like going back in person because all of these are saying that we still have to check into canvas and it's like why are we doing that if we're in person i don't really know and then my english teacher i had him last year so i'm actually kind of happy about that i'm actually kind of happy because for english i'm only i'm gonna have the same two teachers the teacher that i had freshman year i'm gonna have her when i'm a senior if i take the ap class which I probably will and then the teacher that I have right now for AP Lang I had him last year for 10 honors which honestly I kind of like because you already know what the teacher is like and you don't have to like meet anyone new okay well I think I have everything on my list oh and I think I want to get a lunchbox because I used to always buy lunch but I kind of want to pack lunch so I can make something like a bit healthier but I don't know how I'm always going to do that and um, they just said that this year lunch is going to be free so it's like why would you not want to eat free lunch instead of like you know I'm gonna just see if they have a lunchbox and then i may need a backpack if i see that i like okay so here's everything that we need for the list we need a planner a green five star notebook a green folder and then i need five folders five notebooks highlighters colored pens pencil pouch mechanical pencils a one inch binder maybe a lunchbox and maybe a backpack that's honestly like not a lot at all i'm very excited i don't remember if i even went school supply shopping last year i'm gonna get ready so we can go shopping and i'll see you guys when we're at the store
the school supplies area was very crowded and there was barely any stuff so I came to the like other section where there's like other stuff and it's way more I know these are nice but they're super expensive I know I don't need this but it looks really cool I want this Pretty much have everything I just need to get a pencil pouch so I didn't really see those But if we don't get it, it's okay Okay, so now we are back from Target and we have to do the little school supplies haul. This is everything that I got. I low-key miss hauls. Like that used to be like when I first first started uploading and like sometime in elementary school, I was doing hauls all of the time. Like justice hauls, iPod case collection. I loved haul videos so much. <laughs> everything came out to be like $43.99, which for some reason that was a lot less than I thought. I remember like school supply shopping being like over $100, but... This is everything that I got. First off, I got like five folders. This is gonna be for my English class. This is gonna be for my AP environmental science class. This one is gonna be for sports medicine cause like red was giving me like medical vibes or whatever. And then I think I'm gonna use the pink one for my sports recreation marketing class. Then this is gonna be for history since I got a white binder for it. And then the black one is gonna be for technical theater. And then the gray one is gonna be for my personal finance and economics class i really like folders especially to like put homework in like on one side you can have your graded work and the other side you can have your homework so then you know where everything goes so i got all these folders and then i also got some dividers for my binder honestly i feel like i probably have some but I'll just get new ones anyways and then i got these highlighters it was so hard to find highlighters like they were all the super extra ones i have some purple and blue highlighters as well to go with like my colored pens so that's why i didn't feel the need to get like the one that has all different colors so i just got these and then i also got some new paper mate pens i think these are the ones that i usually get i just yeah these are the ones that i usually okay sorry like my hair being down it's just annoying because mm -mm, okay these are the pens that i really like and i usually get but i usually like they kind of run out of ink so that's why i got some new ones and then i also got some index cards i really like these for yes uh okay this is why i like never film after in the evenings because yeah i like index cards i really like these for studying i just like making my own i like making my own personal flashcards and i think kind of helps when you write it down but i don't really even know like what subject i'll need these for but i was really trying to choose between like three different planners but i ended up just getting this one i really like plain stuff like i don't like when there's designs on the front and stuff it says rise up hashtag hashtag to at on oh bro i'm pretty sure this says float on i thought this was a hashtag but it says rise up float on like if it didn't say this then i would probably like it because this like design pattern is pretty cute and this is from the brand blue sky i really do like this brand it's just like last year uh some of the way that the things were set up i didn't like but this brand is really nice they always have really cute stuff but i love the inside because it's really cute floral and i chose this over the other two because it is a lot bigger i really like this size because i still need room to write stuff but i obviously don't want it to be too big so it has everything that i wanted the little monthly spread but then also the weekly spread and i don't know if you guys can tell but it also has check boxes on the side which is going to be so good because that's what i usually do i write like a to-do list or just things to remember that i have to do that day so that was actually really convenient and a lot of them had like the little check mark for the to-do list which i really like but i'm really excited to start using it because like i've genuinely just needed a new planner because my other one i filled it all the way up and then i also got some hand sanitizer apparently we already had like a bunch but i just got it because it was on sale and i think you're definitely gonna need this especially now and then the last bag so these are one inch binders this is for my history class and then this is for my uh science class and honestly i may not even need them because i feel like you really don't need binders like that then I got notebooks so this is gonna be for my English class. I like to have a notebook just in case, even if we don't really use notes, I can always use it again next year. This is for my science class. I know that I'm gonna use this all up because he said we're gonna take a lot of notes. 
I got a purple one, a white one. So this will probably be for history. I usually try to match and get the same color folders with notebooks. But for some reason, they really did not have a lot of notebook options. But luckily, I found these like in a whole different section because they did not have them. I got this red one, which this will be for my sports medicine class because he also said that we're going to be taking notes. That is everything that I got for my junior year but i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give a thumbs up and let me know what grade you are going into and when you start school and if you are going back in person because i know a lot of people are still going to be online and they're not going back to school so just let me know but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you and i'll see you guys next time bye time to edit this video